Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures. Yes, yes, modify and all that. Can't open it. Nope. Can't open it in here. Nope. What are they selling? Uh, it looks like bits of meat and whatever the fuck that is. Hardware store. Oh, first. Enjoying your money! Shoes. Trainers, whatever. An arrow point that way. Hey, there's a little garden over here. Which I can pick that up. <laughs> and I'm just pissing about. Hey, is that an open door? Yes, it is. It's a door that can be opened. Now, what do you have in here? You have nothing. What a disappointment. You know, I wanted to steal your money, but you know, you had nothing. I don't want to go this way, I want to go that way. Oh, I went around in circles. <laughs> Guy got interested with that sign there. Great. Amy! Don't know what that is. Is it uh, software, hardware? Is it perfume? Don't care. Hello, ladies. Why did you make your hair a bit white? That's odd. Okay, whatever. Are you trying to be Quill Deville? Actually, don't be Quill Deville because she's fucking terrifying. Where the hell am I going? Ah, oh, they're telling me to another district. That's probably what it is. And the frames are dropping a little bit. Oh, no, nope, there it is. Hive. Naha! Now, this time I've got a membership that I stole. Good to see you again, sir. Go right in. Yeah! Yeah, you better fucking respect me, because here's my card. My card says, respect me, bitch. And also, I have sunglasses that go into my... that come from my head into... Malik, oh. I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee, and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn, and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. Alrighty. <laughs> so, finally. And convince him. This is gonna be fun. I'll try and blackmail him. A civilian. Maybe we gotta find someone who's not been in here before. Actually, he would be with a girl, and he probably... He wouldn't be down here with the riffraff, he'd be up there. That's not Lee, that's someone else. Wearing some silly jacket. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Lee. Oh look, Lee! And he's not here with any riffraff. No. What you want, Chrome Boy? Shut up! Name Lee Hong. Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof. <laughs> two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. Let's start with the police report. 
I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? In concludes. Uh, falsified? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Uh, drugged. Did it say we were drugged the last time? Ah, I've gone. You said Evelyn was high as a kite, drugged out of her mind when she died. But we both know this isn't true. I barely remember what I said that night, but I know that ain't it. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and you're still wrong, was I was probably lying, drunk then. And how did Evelyn die on that night? <laughs> well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Uh, baseball bat. It says recently cleaned. Why would you clean a baseball bat? By hitting her in the head with that baseball bat you keep in your apartment so close at hand. Yeah. Likely story, ain't it? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? Uh... Pregnant, I guess. She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Uh, have you built her? Bell Tower. Your family's sizable investments in Bell Tower assured they would turn a blind eye to any of your run-ins with the law, no matter how serious. All right, Narco. I heard enough of your bullshit. You got a lot of balls coming in here blackmailing me and trying to accuse me of murder. Who the fuck do you think you are? Uh, he's an alpha. Look, I really don't care what happened. Maybe you hit her. Maybe you pushed her down the stairs, maybe she fell. But if you're involved, you didn't cover your tracks. And right now, her friends are getting a private firm to investigate the case. This just more of your bullshit? If I was able to get Evelyn's autopsy report, you don't think an entire team of professionals is gonna be able to uncover more? You left enough clues to see from orbit. Your family won't be able to protect you much longer. Are you... You're lying! You're, you're full of shit! Hey, you don't have to believe me. But these professionals, they're not going to give you the same offer I'm giving you. Right now, I'm the only friend you've got. I'm the only thing standing between them and you spending the rest of your life in prison. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you. <laughs> but only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out! So I hit her again, and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice. She trapped me. She just wanted my money. I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? W what? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? <laughs> Lee. There we go. Got it. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to Sorry, my left's so a mechanical. Like to be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. 
Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Disable? Alright. I think I'm going the right way. Oh well. I need to go up the way. Oh, I could have done. <coughs> that time conversation thing. I could have done that better, but I still got it at the end. <laughs> That's what you need to do, folks. Let's read the t read the low notepads properly. Okay, he's in the other room. Hi! But hey, whatever. I still did it. I still got it. I thought I would beat the baseball bat. Well, what did he say? He didn't say he hit it with the baseball bat, but... Still, hit it, hit it. I don't know why you would clean a baseball bat anyway. This is that broken clock, but yeah, again... Oh, I don't know, but it doesn't matter now because I've done it anyway. Come on, I've oh, got this. Is easy. I've got this already. Three hundred. Stable. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Way! Okay. Coming to meet you. Loading! <laughs> okay, where are you? You're not here! Jensen. Oh, there you are. Malik. Well, first take this. Hey! I was gonna use it myself. I came from the other direction! Done. You I noticed that? More. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. 